Bhishma, born to King Shantanu and Ganga. When he was born, his name was Devaprath. In order to protect his father's hurt, Devaprath took a tremendous oath. The oath was, he will not get married and he will never claim the throne. When young Devavrath had taken that oath, the Devas and the earthlings had thrown flowers at him, congratulating him for taking such a tremendous oath. But at that time, Devavrath probably had not realized what are the implications of that oath. And the implications of the oath came back to him later when he realized that his world has shrunk and everything that was meant to be his even his personal uh, world was not his any longer. The claim to throne was probably a smaller thing. Claim to throne means ambition, personal ambition, uh, professional ambition. Professional ambition remained because he was supposed to be the kingmaker, uh, not the king. So that professional, he was supposed to do a duty instead of doing anything for himself professionally. So whatever he gains, belongs to someone else and secondly he cannot marry which means that he has to completely keep out the idea of women and uh, love the entire idea of love had to be away from him he didn't have that right any longer when the earthlings and uh, celestial beings uh, celebrated his grand oath they renamed him as Bhishma. Young Devabrat became Bhishma, which means the tremendous, the tremendous oath, which Devabrat may not have realized when he had taken it, but the implications came to him later. And what happened was, when you, when a lot is taken away from you, you don't have the right to love, you don't have the right to do anything for yourself. There's a lot of pressure on you, there's a lot of sadness in you because your entire being is only you are living partially not fully you cannot live to the fullest in that case there's with the kind of pressure the person face faces there's a lot of uh, change that a person goes through internally and the same happened to bhishma uh, and sadly bhishma could not share his agony with anybody why because men don't cry Every person, every human suffers when they are sad. But Bhishma could not express because of the typical patriarchal belief system of the society which said men don't cry. And Bhishma had to keep everything to himself in order to show his might, in order to show his masculinity. And that in impact the impact of that tremendous pressure changed Bhishma to the extent that the young lad Devavrat in his teens who was graceful and gracious enough to be able to part with everything that was meant to be his so easily just to make his father happy just for another person so selflessly the same person committed a blunder he was supposed to be the kingmaker. In the absence of a king, he was jobless. And at a time when his stepbrother Vichitravirya was unwell, he went ahead and lifted three princes, Amba, Ambika, and Abalika, from their swayambara. The girls were about to get married by their own choices, and Bhishma stopped that ceremony, lifted the uh, women and came back to Hastinapur in order to get them married to, the, to his ailing brother, which is Ravera. Amba revolted. Amba said that she had already given her a hurt to someone else and so she is unwilling to marry, which is Ravera. Bhishma relented and Amba was sent off, but when Amba went to King Shalva to get married, because he was the person of her choice, King Shalva, did not agree to get married to her and Amba came back with a lot of anger and wanted to marry Bhishma. Now Bhishma was under the oath. He couldn't marry uh, Amba any longer. So he had to refuse. And out of anger, Amba said that she will come back 
as the reason of Bhishma's death because Bhishma was the reason for all miseries of her life. Bhishma and Amba's story makes for a completely different post altogether which I will do. I will record after this and I will put it up separately. But Bhishma, the great warrior that we know, the very courageous, the very graceful, the wonderful character of Bhishma has a deeper pain which we as a society has overlooked, have overlooked and this pain takes us back to that idea mat ko dard nahi hota do remember dard hota hai everybody who is living has dard and if the person is not allowed to express it the way they are supposed to the way they find expression it turns into cruelty it turns into anger it turns into uh, something that the society suffers but the mostly it is suffered by the person who is experiencing that pressure of suppression coming back with amba and bishma's extraordinary story which is neither a love story nor a nor a hate story in the next video till then see you